Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Ed. And this is the Jay and Ed Variety Show. Now, see, we're in a pickle we've been in before. What's that? The monitor thing is still far away, but I yeah. can only see you because the the lens. So I have to come over here to see me. Now I can see me. Let's just do it like this. This feels better. Not, not at all uncomfortable. You guys probably can't see my uh, water bottle, huh? No, uh, I didn't bring my magic water bottle. I just brought Pomplamoose. Pomplamoose. This is, I'm just reminding you that this empty space, where is the end of this? Oh man, there's a lot of empty space. Yeah. The, this, when I'm just looking at the monitor, that looks like we're pretty evenly spaced then on the, on the screen. Yeah, but mm, no. No? No. All right, uh, the microphone is center, kind of. Kind of. Ish. All right, if you're in high school and you wanted to go on the Switchfoot Reliant K concert, too dang bad. That. You got, you got, I think it's pretty it's like, much all you. It's like all me. Uh, however, if you're in high school and you want to go on the Produce of the People slash mystery trip one day, tonight's the night. Get that filled out, signed in. Tonight there's no cost. I have four spots remaining. That's great. It's great. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Do that. And then... I have a question about this one. Yeah. To round out our very busy October catacombs... Uh, happening October the 21st. It's a week earlier than normal. But that then, is only like two weeks from. Yeah, it's, it, right, it's, it's like, like it's happening. Here. It's here. Yeah, the deadline is the 19th of October. The cost is ten dollars. You need the following things to be signed up. Thing one. A permission slip. Thing two. Ten dollars. Okay, now that's where I had the question. Yeah. Once, just a few weeks ago, you said you would accept ten doll scalps. Yeah. Is that offer oh. still on the table? Uh -huh. Okay, that's all I want. Is someone coming tonight with 10 doll scouts? I, not that I know of, I hope. Yeah, that would please me greatly. All right. Uh, but that is, yeah, that's still a deal. And uh, a Veritas registration form is required. That trips people up a lot. You could get that online and have it filled out online so that it's done just lickety split. It's squeezy easy. So make it happen. Before I do my announcement, I want to say this. So it is, as everyone knows, over and over and over, everyone knows it. The election season. Wrong. <laughs> you gotta you have to lean in <laughs> when you say it. It is the election season, so we thought in honor of the election season that we would hold the first ever <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that we would hold the first ever Veritas debate twenty sixteen. Wow. Presidential version. Take a look. Welcome everyone to our first and only debate for the position of High Magistrate of Magisterial Magistry. You likely already know our candidates, but just to reacquaint you, first off we have Mr. Sutter, Mr. Edard Sutter, international... That's Edward. That's Edward. Thank you. Wow, already correcting the host. Uh, that's a, just delightful. Uh, internationally Edward. known for his uh, love of all things bad. And then, our incumbent candidate, the Magister of Magistry himself, Jason S J Fryer. Jason Fryer. Um, wow, okay. His, his, Jason Fryer. His podium is a, a podium. <laughs> anyway, let's let's try to leave the name calling aside here and just be civil to one another, please. Just a Please? Okay, all right. My apologies. First question goes to Mr. Uh, sorry, again, it's uh, Fryer, you said? Y yes, that's Fryer. correct. You've come out with a staunch position that the pumpkin spice latte should not be served prior to the official start of fall on September 20th. Why do you feel so strongly? Where did this come from? What is so wrong with drinking them earlier than that? Well, first of all, let me say thank you to Colonel Sanders and the fine people here at Northminster West University. Uh, look, let's just be real about this. Fall starts on September 21st. The pumpkin spice latte is clearly a marker that fall is here, much like the changing of leaves and Donald Trump's uh, hairpiece. Well, I, I'm, uh, gonna, I'm just going to have to, you know, I want to apologize to him for my interruption. I just want to say thank you as well, Colonel Sanders. Thank you to... This is kind of my time here. here, here in the audience. No, this is on. important. This is important. Maybe when you get I, a real I think, podium. You, know, you say that... You say that 
I didn't select the podiums, but on the pumpkin spice latte, uh, you say that it's a marker of fall. You think about it though, when you plant the pumpkin seeds, it's, it's not in fall, but pumpkins really begin much earlier than this fall season. So I really disagree with the fact that we should be what, waiting. What my opponent won't tell you is the pumpkins are harvested in the fall, and so for them to be present in any kind of beverage, it would have to be September 21st. Well, see, so you know, we're down here doing an issue of semantics. I mean, when, when you speak of harvest, are we speaking metaphorically? Or are we are we speaking speaking more literally? And if you look at the, the, the etymology of metaphorically, if you look at the way, excuse me, if you look at the etymology of the word harvest, you have har and you have vest. And I mean, vests, yes, I'll give you vests are, are are a fall thing, but har har is a word of spring and summer. Har har har, as in that's how people are responding to your answer, sir. Uh, the, the pumpkins are actually ripped out of the ground in the fall All right, and uh, turned All into right. a beverage then. Also, Sorry. Uh, pumpkin spice cereal, don't even bother. Okay then. All right, let's, uh, let's move on to another important issue. Uh, this is one that a lot, of our, uh, a lot of people in the audience I know are already upset about. Because uh, Ed Ward, apparently, Thank you. Uh, you are quoted as saying, girls are icky. Do you wow. feel like this is a misrepresentation wow. of you? Do you really feel like it was proper to isolate 50% of your constituency? Well, I think I think it's interesting that you use the word icky as if it's as if you it's a, use the I, word icky. Excuse me, is I'm trying to. Did you ask me a question? Yes, I, I I think it's interesting that you use the word icky as if it's a, a bad thing. I, I mean, I, I use the word icky, you know, I, the way I'd use any... Icky is a word of endearment. Any, uh, and the way I'd use any other term. Come home to your wife you know, and say, hello, I, I don't, icky. I don't say it's that really good to you're see you today. tall you're looking or great, you're today. short as if that's a bad thing. I, I say icky as, as a simple descriptor. It's, it's a cloudy day outside. This isn't bad. This isn't good. This food tastes bad. That's not bad or good. These are just descriptors. Icky. You're saying you're saying to t say something tastes bad is not bad? It's a simple descriptor. It's a simple descriptor. Uh, I, I hurt my foot when I was running through the rough terrain. These are all just descriptors. They're not saying it's good. Of miserable or, things. Or, or, icky so is just a descriptor. Mean? Icky is, is simply a descriptor. What does icky describe then? The, the girls. I think I was very clear with that. What, what other adjective other than icky might you use to give us a better sense of how you define icky? Uh, it, this isn't quite an adjective, but, but, but cooties, um, which again... I'm glad you brought it's this just, up. It's just a, just, what, a, just a word. What my opponent won't tell you is that in the fifth grade, he actually invented the circle, circle, dot, dot. Now you have a cootie shot. That's true. I am certified. As many of as many of you in the viewing audience will know, I am certified. Lifetime certification, although someone did once try to steal my certification and rip it up. Um, it's true. Now, I, I, I'm so glad, you have a vested I'm glad, you brought, up, I'm glad you brought up fifth grade. I'm glad you brought up fifth grade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, remind me uh, about your... Um, your your investment history in fifth grade. If you if you have a difficulty t difficult time remembering, I'd be happy to help Look, you. Look, I'm not ashamed to admit that bullies regularly beat me up and stole my lunch money, but mm -hmm. that's an experience that I've grown from. You, sir. So you're saying you 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 gave? You're not ashamed to say that you gave money to the cause of bullies while you were in fifth grade? Not willing. That is. Did you hear this, folks? He he gave when money. Compelled to by not ashamed. When compelled to by compelled to have by given money to bullies. It's important now to talk to address an issue that I believe is on the hearts and minds of everyone in the audience tonight. And that is this issue of corgis. Mr. Soder, you've come out saying corgis. strongly. Corgis. corgis. Got it. Corgis, the, the dog. And what is <laughs> corgis? Yes. Uh, you, and I'm surprised that you're not more familiar, as you have stated that you want a corgi in every classroom, every household, and every business across this country. Yeah, I, I think it's, uh, you know, some people may view this as a, as a touch eccentric, but I think it, it's really quite simple. The, the shorter and the fatter the dog is, and, 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 you know, just think about that. The shorter and the fatter the dog is, the stronger the heart is, and, and I, I really can't say anything Mr. more Mr. Sutter, that. let's just cut through, straight to the chase. Much like the rides at Kennywood, you must be at least this tall to be considered a dog. Mr. Sutter, what, what, what type of animal do you have in your home? I have ten corgis. I have one for every room. I, that's a bold place lie. I'd encourage you to go to my website. Uh, www.jasonfryer.com to fact check Mr. Sutter's claim. I, I'd also like you to uh, check out my policies on corgisforus.com. You will see that he is clearly the owner of a golden retriever, one of the best dogs on the planet. The shorter and, and the fatter, the better. I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, have you seen corgis, Jason? They're, 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 like, the, they're like the chubby limousine of the dog world. So shorter and fatter is better. 
Well, you're I, the one with the tall. You're the one that's speaking from all the way up there. So because yes, I, I have to stand on a, on a on a platform to get up tall. Which I'd like to. I, I'd like to bring and up. And I'm again. fat. This is so still clearly, by your own logic, I should be the winner of this election. Shorter, fatter, better. Boom. Uh, you're Boom. Putting, putting words. Right here. You're putting words in my mouth. Right you're look putting right words. Here. Just look I at. Don't want to look all at. All right, my my you're producers are telling me here that it's about time to start wrapping this up. Oh, let's but do it. But to conclude this debate, I want to give you each an opportunity to speak directly to the public, three words each that summarize your platform. Mm -hmm. we, we we flipped the coin before we started, uh, and so the first person to give their three is Mr. Jason Fryer. Shorter and fatter. Those are your three. Okay, shorter and fatter, uh, which seems against your anti-corgi position. But, Mr. Sutter, your three words, please. Except for dogs. Cootie-proof nation. <laughs> Thank you both very much for joining us. Thank you to our wonderful audience here. And remember, the importance is to go and vote your conscience, just like Jeb Bush told us. Thank you and good night. Well debated. Yeah, good job. I think it's clear who won. Clearly, I won. <laughs> uh, my microphone was broken. <laughs> Even though this debate is in the future, I've won every poll uh, that's come out of it, except for CBS. Including. Yeah. I, I won that one. Uh, one last announcement! 7th and 8th graders, November 4, 5, and 6, Middle School, Laurelville. You want to be there. It is so good. I've showed the promo video before. I'll show it again. Not tonight. No. Uh, cost is 100 bucks. Deadline is October 26, which is three weeks from today. Yeah. Sign up. Make it happen. It's happen. gonna be so good. Keep saying it. High schoolers were going in December. We'll get that permission slip out in a little while. Yeah. That's all. That's it. Till next time, I'm Jay. And I'm Ed. And we'll see you. Holy cow, it's hot in here. It really is. Boop. Um, you know, German German chocolate cake. Think about it. I'd rather have United States chocolate cake. Wrong. Let's I think that people should be able to get fat off of the cake of the nationality of their choice. You when was the last time they won a Stanley Cup?